do you want to just talk about what you're doing in, uh, in Vegas this week? Uh, yeah, so here in Vegas, I am one here at the Performance Institute getting some work done on my arm, so it starts healing. Uh, I was doing a Metro PCS commercial thing, um, and yeah, a little bit of business. Yeah, seeing the, uh, the Performance Institute, and you mentioned your arm, and you just uh, got out of, um, you met with their, their physical therapy team. I did. Yeah? Mm -hmm. what, uh, what is the status of your arm? Status is, uh, it's pending, I guess. <laughs> um, it's taking a little longer to heal than, I guess, any other person's arm is meant to heal. So it's just taking time and having patience. But I was able to be here and learn like the physical therapy side of it, what I can be doing, what movements I can do with the rest of my body that I isn't going to delay injury and um, just getting me back to the, in the octagon as fast as possible. Is it, uh, is it on schedule? Is it fair to characterize it that or is, have you hit some roadblocks? I've definitely hit roadblocks. It's not on schedule by any means. It was supposed to be at this point like the bone should have been healed and like fully grown back and it still has a massive just crack down the middle of my arm. So it's definitely significantly delayed. Um, I still definitely see myself fighting this year um, be before the end of the year just because I have been staying on track as far as like sparring with one arm and uh, staying in the gym as much as possible. Your original um, target was what, around September, October time yep. frame? Mm -hmm. And so now it's just, like you said, hopeful will be for the end of the year, but you don't really have a set time frame. Yes, hopeful for the end of the year. September, October still doesn't look completely unrealistic for me. Um, just as long as I can start punching with my right hand soon, it's not going to be a long process because I don't have to worry about the whole weight cut. I can jump in on any short notice fights, um, anything once my arm gets cleared. You know, you've been asked throughout your, your whole career, really, uh, Paige, you know, how long are you going to be in MMA? Mm -hmm. And when you have all these other chances to do different things, like, when something like this happens, though, and you mm -hmm. have a broken arm, and then there's complications with it, are there ever days where you're just like, I don't really need this, I don't need to be breaking my arm in the middle? Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, not at all. This makes me miss it so much more, yeah. especially because I go to every practice with him. So I'm in the gym three days a week, only been able to do like minimal workouts and it just makes me miss it so much more. Like I leave the gym just bawling my eyes out because I can't train. And then I tried to do full contact sparring and uh, I gotta put the, I gotta put her in line and <laughs> in yeah. line and not let me spar because if I hurt my arm worse, it's gonna delay it even longer. So no, the, the injury definitely makes me realize how much I need this. Yeah. Well, speaking of, um, the gentleman sitting to your left. Uh, yeah. Can you introduce him? Yes. Okay, so this is my fiance. His name's yeah. Austin. He just signed a really good contract, so we're going to be hearing about that soon. Yep. Yeah. Can't announce it yet. Yeah. Okay. Got to wait. Just got to wait a that. little bit, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so I got a good opportunity coming up, and yeah, just excited to take advantage of it and go with it, so. Well, in a recent interview page, you, you said um, you were in the middle of like a media scrum. I think it was international. You said that uh, something to the effect of everybody hates my fiance. Oh yeah. <laughs> not very yeah. So yeah. We were, I was in it's London in like a media scrum. Yeah. And um, for a while, he was like the most hated man on the internet because when yeah. we first posted like our little picture, like oh we're so cute, and like thinking people would be happy <laughs> for me for being like happy, they were not. Kind of got the opposite. He just got attacked, yeah. and then he had yeah. like one stalker. Like, who consistently still stalks him. Yeah. Um, to talk about how he's just a lot of mean things. Yeah. Like, what a just, loser you are. Yeah. <laughs> not, I'm not a nice looking guy. And so, yeah. yeah. But he says you're not a nice looking guy? Not a nice looking guy. I got some flaws in my, in my facial structure. <laughs> Your facial structure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, it comes with the territory, I guess. It can't yeah. please everybody. And, but you can yeah. beat them all up. So yeah. It's yeah, exactly. So. Well, Austin, like, uh, you know, Paige has, has uh, been dealing with, you know, social media for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, so maybe, like, did you have any any idea of, like, what kind of interaction she'd be getting on social media? Were they to your expectations? Were they more than that? Like, what, what was um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge sports fan, as it is, so I've seen, you know, how people, everyone's an expert in, in sports, when they're sitting at home and you know or other people's lives and whatnot and so i kind of knew what i was getting into for the most part and uh you know you can be ready for it and then when it happens it's a different story but uh it's nothing you know nothing too crazy and nothing that either one of us could handle and yeah. we're both we both have good grounds and good morals and support each other and so 
you just ignore the the hate and, and yeah, all he, that stuff. I think he deals so. with it a lot better than I do too, yeah. actually. He's able yeah. to laugh it off and then I see mean things and then I obsess about it the entire day. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. and it hurts my feelings and yeah. 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 You really, you're not used to it by now? I'm definitely not used to it by now. No. The only thing that I've adjusted is now I don't look at social media as much. Like, I definitely, I don't read my comments. I don't, uh, I don't see any of the negative. I actually have people who go on my Instagram and send me all the positive stuff to make me feel good. Like, oh, yeah. look at how nice this person is. I said this about you. But it's just so hard because no matter what, I fixate on the one negative. Yeah. So. Yeah. Austin, how would you yeah. describe uh, Paige's fan base? Like, if you had to describe her average fan. Who yeah. Would you oh, man. Um, if I had to tell you what the average fan, I would say a 26-year-old man, uh, maybe in college, just got out of college and, uh, you know, probably doesn't have a girlfriend, maybe has a girlfriend, but... <laughs> um, a girlfriend. And, and that's just the average. Like she said, she has a lot of like awesome really supportive and and people like that but for the most part it's it's single guys or or <laughs> not single guys who like to look at her and and all that and that's where a lot of the, the jealousy and hate towards me probably comes in huh. to play so yeah Paige, coming into this year were you thinking that you may take a little bit of a break anyway for the release of your book or were you planning on just fighting right through that i planned on fighting through it yeah. I, that was the goal and i had written out a timeline because you know i have only two fights left on my ufc contract so i wanted to get my fight i wanted to get back in there and keep fighting especially because i had the long break from dancing with the stars and all the other things i have going on in my life so mm -hmm. i i planned it out to be a short book tour and then i could come back into the cage and the arm unfortunately delayed it, but um, yeah. I'm still on track, you know, as far as fighting this year, it'll still happen, but it's just a process. Has the, has the uh, status of your contract changed at all, or are you uh, coming on to your last, last fight? No, year? the status hasn't changed. I think this is just my final two on this contract. Yeah. Oh, so you have two left. Two, after, two, after two left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, so two left total. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you, um, do you anticipate the UFC coming to you and um, it seems like they like you? And, I and hope they like me. And, and to you and, and I hope the UFC extension? likes me. Yeah, I would, I would hope so that they would want to extend my contract. Of course, I haven't heard a lot. Um, I haven't really heard anything as of right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. The UFC is a powerhouse and they're very busy. So when it comes time to renegotiate, I'm sure they'll yeah. make the steps. Well, I know it's probably tough because you have the injury and, and you don't know exactly when you'll come back. Yep. But what type of fight do you anticipate coming back to when you are out there? Gosh, I mean, it just depends. The 125 division is wide open, and that's definitely where I belong right now. So um, whoever the UFC gives me, but I know there's a lot of talent that came off of the Ultimate Fighter. There's, there's options throughout the division, and especially just where I am as far as, like, fight-wise. I'm sure I'm going to get, you know, a, a great opponent because – you know, the division's deep, but I'm, I'm excited to see who they match me up with. What do you think of, of the division right now? Like you said, it is wide open. Mm -hmm. it, a lot of us anticipated that, you know, 35ers would drop down, 15ers like yourself come would, up. would come up, and then yep. it would, it would get pretty deep immediately. Has that yes. happened yet, or do you think it's... I think it has, but I think it's going to continue to change. I don't think we've seen a huge change in this division yet. We've seen a few 25 fights, but I think it's ultimately still growing. Uh, and it's still a very young division, so there's just more fights need to happen before you get a real good indicator of who's the top and who's going to, you know, make a name for themselves. I wonder as someone who is, who is actually in the division, obviously mm -hmm. wants that title, of course, um, what are your thoughts on how they crown their first champion? The reality show, and Anika Montano, she mm -hmm. hasn't fought yet because of injuries herself, um, but it's been a little while. Yeah. What do you think of just the state of that division and how it's, it's crowned its first champion? Yeah, I mean, I think it made sense just to bring in um, do an ultimate fighter show to bring people in to ha to crown a champion. I think the concept made sense. Um, I don't know, just because it's such a young division, it's, um, it's just going to continue to change and there's going to continue to be athletes coming from other, um, organizations and other weight classes going up and down. That'll really, where you'll get a true indication of what the weight class is going to look like. And I don't think we've seen that yet. Austin, are you strictly yeah. fiance, or are you um, are you sparring partner? Are you coach? Or are you <laughs> I'm at, I'm everything, man. Before <laughs> I I'm a counselor sometimes. No, um, yeah, sure I'm everything. Some um, today. Yeah, but it's it's a cool dynamic, and uh, we spend twenty four seven together, and uh, so you know we we train together, mm -hmm. and and uh, but it's really helpful, and it's especially helpful for me, like on my journey to where I want to be, and 
being able to kind of experience some of the stuff that um, I think a guy in my position wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to experience at this point. And I mean, even little things like social media and, and uh, not little, but things like that, you know, I've had to kind of endure that early on in my career. And, and I think it'll just be beneficial moving yeah. forward and, and whatnot. Well, so. also, you dropped me with a little face kick. Yeah, we I mean, we, we, we're sparring partners, yeah. So there's a size discrepancy, but we, we make do. And, training, yes. and I'm a believer that you can get better from anybody and, you know, despite size and, and all that. And so I, there's a lot that I learned from her and, and vice versa. And then, yeah, training. he's a national so. champion wrestler, so he yeah. helps me on my wrestling, which from my fights you can see that I've needed. Yeah. So it's going to be <laughs> we'll, a good we'll change, We'll work better, right? yeah, we'll work on it. And, yep, so... Which came first, the romantic side of the relationship or the, uh, were you guys sparring partners first? Uh, oh, no, we were lovers first. Yeah, yeah. We met initially at strength and conditioning, and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then we hadn't trained together until I thought you were cute. Yeah, yeah, so. It, it, going back to, to something I said earlier, you know, Paige throughout her whole career has faced questions of, like, how long is she really going to stay in it? Did you yeah. have any? Um, opinion on that before you met her and has that changed at all as you've gotten to know with her? Um, I think first and foremost what's important to me is her goals and what she wants to achieve and uh, she I want her to focus on that and you know whether you know because there's steps in relationships and whatnot and you know we're fiancés now we'll be married and then kids come and and all that but the most important thing for me is that she fulfills what she wants to do in the sport in her career and then things go from there otherwise you know you run into problems along the way and and we have a really good understanding of each other and each other's goals and and all that so well you mentioned kids i wasn't going to be nosy as, <laughs> yeah. as, yeah. as a professional fighter you know professional yep. female fighter how, what are those conversations like and how do you how do you make it yeah you know i mean i've always been open of course i want to have kids and I've, I've always wanted to be married with a family um and we've had the conversation but it's um i mean we said i definitely want i want to be in the ufc for a, or fighting for yeah. at least another three years yeah. and then um three to five years of me continuing to fight and then that's when we think about having yeah. the kids and we so. enjoy our lives right now too yeah we, we love our lives so. it's fun to get to do the stuff we do and travel and and uh you know be there for each other and corner each other in fights and that's kind of stuff that goes away for at least a little bit when kids come along and so yeah, yeah we're just happy and excited for our next step and all that so you mentioned uh, austin being a counselor to Paige sometimes yeah. what, what sets her off and how do you really bring her back, back down oh man yeah she she can she's a little spicy sometimes <laughs> but uh i mean that's the fighter in her as well and so she's you know, this gorgeous girl and, and all that, but she's a fighter first and foremost. And so there's, there's times that, you know, she'll, she'll get an opinion about something or, or be upset about something. And I have to talk her and I actually got my degree in, in uh, sociology. sociology. And so, so I know some of that stuff and, and, uh, talk, talk me down. yeah, I can talk her down a little bit, but but it's vice versa too. She's got to talk me down a lot as well. And so it's not just a one way street. It goes back and forth. So. Well, I know you can't, you can't reveal what this contract is that you signed. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, you've already, um, you know, you were, I saw you wrote a tweet to the UFC saying, you know, keep me on that July 14th card. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you said something to the effect of I'm, I'm Paige's man or something like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, to be totally honest, I wrote that tweet. <laughs> yeah. Let's just be straightforward. See how see yeah, yeah. I posted that and then yeah. everyone was like, oh, you're clean. Like, yeah. making fun of you for saying that. Yeah. Uh, did you approve it at least? Or oh, you yeah. You I approved it, it yeah. At the end of the, man, I've grown up with older siblings like I can take the heat the picking on and all that and and it's you know I gotta make a name for myself and do stuff as well and any of that stuff can help and you know so and good things have came from it whether you know it was a positive or a negative tweet or whatever so you know I'm not a wild card I'm not gonna throw out a bunch of crazy stuff but I approve that yeah. one and yeah you think, you'll, so. you think you'll have some fun with it just in terms of like you know, if, if people already don't like you because you're married to Paige, yeah, 
will you rub it in their face a little bit? Like, or, or would you rather prefer like, no, I'm gonna be serious. This is, you know, I don't want to make my career off that necessarily. Or yeah, I no, I, you know what? I think there's a little bit of uh, a balance between it both. Um, I want to make a career for myself, and you know, I started wrestling when I was five years old, and have had these dreams and aspirations growing up uh, to be a professional athlete and steps along the way and all that. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I want to be a world champion and that's my biggest goal. And, uh, but if you can have a little fun along the way and, and uh, I don't just sit there and take stuff, but I like to dish stuff out as well. And, and uh, you know, it's fun, it's fun stuff. And, and it, it's entertaining and it's an entertainment business. And, um, you know, I think being smart and not saying the wrong stuff, obviously, but yeah, but we can have a little fun with it too. So, you know, sometimes it's weird when you have someone who is, uh, you know, so well known, a public figure like Paige, but you just wonder if, if people really uh, do know her. And she put out a, a book, and that was obviously, yeah. um, you know, explained a lot of who she is. But as uh, her, her fiance, what, what is Paige like? Who is she? Uh, I think I definitely going back to what you said, you know, a lot of people wouldn't know, but she's, uh, man, she's so charismatic. So, you know, it's, it really has been such an awesome turning point in my life and my career and being with her. And, and, uh, you know, I just, the general public just doesn't understand. And, you know, they see her as a certain something and, and, but you can't, you could, you could never know somebody from just social media and, and, uh, or even the brief interviews that we do and, and all that. And she, there's a lot more in depth stuff about Paige that, you know, no one knows. And I'm fortunate enough to get that and, and be able and to experience that. Spicy and, side yeah, there's it. also, <laughs> it's not, it's not always, they the, don't get to put up, yeah, they don't they, put up with me. Exactly. So, um, but it's really it's an awesome thing and and uh, anyone being in love and you know having your fiance and the person that you plan on spending the rest of your lives with is it's a cool thing and it just is a bonus that we get to punch each other in the face and, <laughs> that and it's so terrible it, it, <laughs> and it's legal when we're at the gym and yeah, yeah so yeah. i mean we, we have don't. a lot of fun doing it we do and it's yeah. Fun. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, I've, I've been in, in shit practices before. Sparring sessions can get heated Yeah, they get, yeah. What, what, what are your sparring sessions so, like? So, okay. That's funny that that's, that's funny. brought up, yeah. So, we were sparring on uh, a f- couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, we were sparring yeah. a couple weeks ago, and we were going together. It was supposed to be this light sparring, and then I got irritated because I thought he was hitting me too hard, but instead of me, like, saying anything, I just kicked him in the stomach really hard. So, going off. So, and, I, uh, yeah. you know, started, like, I thought he was picking it up, so I started turning it up, and then he got <laughs> angry, and then it just yeah. creates this, like, frustrated dynamic, and yeah. the problem is, like, it's hard for, we have to find the balance of being able to leave it on the mat and not take it home with us, Yeah. and then, yeah, and then you're not allowed to hit me yeah. hard because, you know, you're way bigger than me, but I'm yeah. allowed to hit you hard, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, we... It's just finding it's, balance. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's typically we'll find something every once in a while where it's like you're either going too easy on me or you know maybe you hit me a little hard there but uh but you find that with absolutely anybody exactly so, yeah and any training yeah. partner and mm-hmm. and uh you know we it's just funny because we're yeah yeah well i'm sure you guys can find other people to spar it you choose to spar with one another so why <laughs> what do you get out of it what is the oh, okay. no so it's no. not and this you don't isn't choose to spar together yeah so it's never like us like if when it's actually our hard mma sparring days we actually spar in totally separate yeah groups. so yeah. since i corner him i watch him and then he um watches me during all my sparring sessions so i always yeah. have somebody watching and he corners me as well. So, yeah. and then it's just like a, we have a few sparring sessions where you have to rotate with every single person in the gym. Yeah. And that's when we'll, we'll do get, a round robin yeah, we'll and do stuff. Like, partnered and, up together. And it has its benefits. It's, you know, timing sparring. Timing and, sparring. And it's not yeah. ever, we never go 100% <laughs> sparring on with each, each other never. and that's anything like that. But, but we'll do timing sparring yeah. with each other. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, last question uh, when is the wedding? So, yeah. All right. So we were going to have it in September and then he got a fight offer in September and then um, he got a fight offer in six weeks. So he in six weeks, he's got a fight. So yeah, we're um, 
maybe September. Yeah, yeah. Might We're, be very in September. Our schedule is so crazy as it is. We uh, went. We're planning on the end of the summer. Um, Whenever it happens, when it it's going to be it two months and ready to go. So yeah. we're getting close to that two month mark for that. And uh, yeah, so, but we've got our plans and yeah. we've got, you know, our, our close family on board with everything. And 